My name is Kingston and I am in prep. What I like about gardening is teamwork and playing with my friends in the garden. What I like about gardening is you can get messy and have fun. My favourite thing about gardening is watering the plants and having fun with my friends. My name is Anthea Rafferty. I teach Year 10 Architecture at Warrnambool College. This year we have researched, designed and created an Indigenous garden, which has enabled us to understand the importance of connection to country and sustainable landscape practices. But I did really enjoy going to the Wongu Ditch Nursery, trying all the native plants and seeing what they were. I learnt more stuff about the math side of it, so area, volume, all that, that was really interesting. We were interacting with a lot of other people and Grassmere Primary School were interacting with the kids a lot. I like the Warrnambool College people here because they help us plant the gardens. I hope to make lemon of myrtle cake and something with the finger lines. You can eat the special little flowers off pig face or the little berries that grow on mun trees. We want to get the younger generations to be more involved in Indigenous cultures. Architecture students participated in extensive research through excursions and conversation with community members and local industry to ensure the landscaping and plant selection was suitable for our climate. The specific Australian natives were chosen because they provide vital habitat for wildlife, help to create a healthy environment and exceptional aesthetic qualities. So we're looking to include edible native plants in our garden. Do you have any you recommend? We have some plants through here. We have a native ginger. The key for this kind of garden is to have the right place with plenty of sun, try and keep it out of the wind. The benefit of having plants that are natural to this area is we don't really have to do anything. Once they're in the ground, they just want to grow here. I'm talking to the local indigenous uh, elders. They wanted to create that welcome to other people, to this land. Yeah, we're talking about signage and some sort of some of that kind of thought process. You want to look at more edible plants? All right, so here's a really good selection of ground cover plants. So in your garden at, at, at school, uh, it grows to about a metre and a half, about a metre wide, but it makes a really, really nice little hedge as well. It's also an insect repellent. Keep mozzies away as well, so that's good. The edible indigenous plants were selected because of their inclusion in food study recipes in classes from year 7 to 12. One of the things we're really excited about is actually having access to living ingredients that students can see from farm to fork, the garden to plates. You know, we have such a broad range of demographic of students and we have a significant engagement with our Calais and our Clontarf students in all of our classes, so it'll be a great benefit. Well, the new Indigenous garden helps us incorporate ingredients and things people like me aren't really familiar with, which is good to help gain a better insight into Indigenous culture. I made a lemon myrtle and macadamia scone. It came together quite nice and worked really well. There's plenty of different recipes you can do. The gardens were prepared by Clontarf students. Over a, a six week period, their ability to collaborate and work in all types of inclement weather and achieve an outstanding result is admirable. Are you feeling protective about this garden? Yep. Have you felt protective about any other gardens at school? No. So why this one? We've done brilliant. Great. So tall, I spaced out pretty evenly, and that little one was where that pepper bush was, but I moved it more in the middle so they're all spaced out. So when you're looking at it, you want to get a bit of a visual and pretend yeah. how much it grows.
That's one of the things I like about the garden, just getting natural and just all bonding with each other. Yep. And just giving back to Mother Nature, just, the yeah. Done a bit of gardening at a farm, like on the um, cemetery in the forest. So in a couple of weeks, plant some new flowers and stuff. Do you think that doing projects like this at school are, are helpful to your engagement and your learning? I think it can take uh, the stress and the focus on something else, something more peaceful and calm. It's going to be a meeting place. Um, there's lots of kids who sit in that area um, already, but it's a meeting place for a class to come and collect data. It's a meeting place for kids to walk past and hopefully grab some muntries on their way to the next class. I think it's a matter of working with the kids. Yeah, I was thinking landscape, because we'll be looking through it anyway, what's cut out. It, c it can represent yeah. lots of things. It can be, you know, we c you could potentially have a journey line along the bottom here, represents you know, being a coastal place with the coastal plants. The planting was completed by the Clontarf and Calais students and staff at the beginning of Term 3. The design process from ideation through to realisation has provided an array of learning outcomes for numerous students. The garden is a living classroom for our entire Warrnambool College community to connect, study and celebrate our collaborative learning. This is our journey.